Hello everybody, I'm Mathieu Zola from JavaScriptChoose.com and today I'm gonna help you choose between ES6, TypeScript and CoffeeScript for your future projects with Angular 2. All of those languages have one base, which is JavaScript. So the good point is whatever language you use is gonna be good for your progression because all of them will be a little bit look-alike, a little bit. So let's have a look at the organizations that are backing up those languages. On the left, the Mozilla Foundation, which has been in charge of the standard for quite a while now. In the middle, you got Google and Microsoft, two of the biggest giants in the web at the moment. And on the right, you got the open source community. All of those organizations have their own power and their own limitations. So let's start with CoffeeScript. Since this is open source, everybody can work on it and improve it. And as you know from one very, very, very famous operating system, that is Linux, this can go very, very far. However, this can be a little bit risky for some people who might not really want to give that trust in the open source community. In the middle, you got Google and Microsoft. In my opinion, those organizations have the most power in order to push the technology for Angular 2. Why, you can ask me? Well, let's start with Google, the creator of AngularJS. They are the ones that are pretty much the guru of AngularJS, and all of their events will be in TypeScript. So, that's pretty much a big deal when it comes to learning a language. Microsoft, just like Google, they have a lot of fonts. As an example, Microsoft was given for free certification about TypeScript recently. Finally, the Mozilla Foundation, which has been in charge of the standard for a lot of years. What they have as a big advantage is that they are only in JavaScript. And until now, everybody was working with JavaScript mainly. Some developers used CoffeeScript, yes, sure. However, Every tutorial that Google used to do in the past for AngularJS were on JavaScript. So now this is going to be pretty much checked up. What we can see is that the Mozilla Foundation has the biggest community at the moment and they still have a lot of influence. So that's it for the organizations. So let's have a look at the code now. We'll start with our dear JavaScript. So this is an example from the Google tutorial for Angular 2. As you can see, it's really, really verbose. There's a lot of things going on here. A lot of parentheses. This is very, really a bit hard to read, to be honest. One good point here is that you can access global variables, as for example, ng.core or ng.platform. And you don't need to import them every time that you need them. As you can see, this is really heavy. You got your document that add event listener here with a dumb content loaded. And after that, you got ng.platform, that browser, that bootstrap. This is quite a lot to take. But if you don't like that, you can just change it to TypeScript. TypeScript is quite dry. This is the equivalent from the Angular 2 website. All you need to do is just to import your component here and that's pretty much it. You just do your add component and you export it. And when you bootstrap it, you just need to import bootstrap from Angular 2 platform browser and just the bootstrap app component. Here you go, down. TypeScript, as its name implies, type oriented. So now you can use type in your application, which is great and bad. So here is an example of why it can be bad, like here. My background is from Ruby. So in Ruby, everything is very dry. And that's why I like a lot of script. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Anyway, so you got here just four variables that have been declared. In Ruby, there's a philosophy, which means that just the name of the variable is enough to deduce what it does and what type it is. For example, here, first name. This can't be, for example, an int, unless your name is 123. 
And if your name is 123, well, I'm sorry. But don't fear my friends, because we can fix that. Here is an example of the previous code from some TypeScript, and you can make it dry, just like that. Just one var, first name, last name, middle name, and username. You're not forced to use type in TypeScript, which is great, in my opinion. So if you don't like parentheses and you like your code dry, just like I do, you can just switch to CoffeeScript. It's just like JavaScript, but without the parentheses, basically. All you're gonna need is just one compiler. That's it. So I can totally understand that you might still be lost and not knowing which language to choose. Well, everything depends on your environment that you're working with. For example, if you're working with a lot of Java and c -sharp developers, I would advise you to go with TypeScript because it will be easier for them to switch between backend and frontend because the languages look alike a lot. And TypeScript is really good when you have a lot of errors generally in your project related to type because before that your code is pushed to production, it is compiled. And if it fails the compilation, well, you just got your error as soon as possible, which is great. And if you don't like type, and you don't like how TypeScript looks like, you can go with ES6, and you'll be part of the biggest community out there at the moment. And moreover, when you have to debug your code in the browser, it's going to be JavaScript anyway, so that's much more simple. And if you don't like parentheses, you can just go with CoffeeScript, which is much more dry. You can even use websites like js to coffee in order to transform your ES6 to CoffeeScript. However, you need to know something about CoffeeScript because recently some projects like CoffeeScript Redux has been closed because the community isn't the same as it was before, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. I invite you to comment on my website what will be your choice and why. I will add in the description some links to generators for CoffeeScript and ES6 and maybe TypeScript if I find some and other links to Angular Seeds. Thank you very much. Have a good day.